the country from Texas to Chicago. Up until now, you have had over 11,000 migrants invade your city. Up until today, Chicago city government has spent more than $100 million since January housing, clothing, feeding, and caring for migrants. Now let me ask you a question. Why would they send migrants all the way from Texas and Florida, all the way across the country to New York and Chicago? Why not leave them in Montana? That's not a heavily populated state. Why not take them to Utah? That's not a heavily populated state. Why not take them to North Dakota? Why not take them to South Dakota? If you need a place for all these migrants to live, why would you bring them to the two most crowded black cities in America? I'll tell you why. Chicago and New York City are the only northern black communities that have historically controlled at least three congressional seats in Washington, D.C. Up until recent times, Chicago was home to the only majority senatorial congressional district for black people above the Mason-Dixon line. The reason they're bringing migrants to Chicago is they're using migrants to push for black people out. They want to kill your political power, they want to kill the value of your vote. They have been reducing the population of Chicago for the last 40 years. I first came to Chicago in September 2010. Gotcha. The year I first came to Chicago in 2010, and Brother Dawa did the public access television interview with me. Thanks, bro. That's the same year that white people overtook black people for the first time in 40 years as the largest race in Chicago. Chicago is black. White folks dominate it now. And according to the most recent 2020 census in Chicago, you are also outnumbered by the Latinos. Your numbers continue to shrink. That U.S. Congress spot that former Rep. Bobby Rush sat, the first district of Chicago, that was an all-black seat for 100 years. That seat that Bobby Rush was in was black since 1929. That's Marcus Garvey era. For 100 years, y'all had an all-black seat. I believe a white person got it now. The second district in Chicago, I think a Latino got that. We are losing our power in Chicago because they are pushing us out, replacing us with migrants. I read an article today in the Chicago News. It said the Chinese population in Chicago is the fastest growing group. Whites are the biggest group. Latinos are second. And the Chinese are the fastest growing group. Can I ask you a question? Why did they take the migrants to Chinatown? Since the Chinese got it going on, why did you drop the migrants off in Chinatown? Why didn't they drop the migrants off in the white neighborhoods? Now, some white neighborhoods got some migrants, but most of the migrants are in the black community. You mean to tell me they've been closing down schools in Chicago telling you they can't afford to operate the school. But Mayor Brandon Johnson opened the school back up, fixed the school up for the migrants who don't pay taxes, don't work here, and ain't a part of the community. Help me out, brothers and sisters. Help me out. Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City, is paying the hotels $15,000 or more a night to house the migrants. But in the meantime, y'all got homeless black people in Chicago. We got black people in Chicago sleeping on the damn street 
but the black mayor is paying for migrants who don't even like black people to get first class treatment in the black community. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I told you last year, keep on voting for that Democratic Party plantation. Keep on voting for that Republican Party plantation. I'm going to make a prediction. No black mayor will ever do anything for black Chicago until black Chicago chooses its own mayor and finances its own mayor independently. Brandon Johnson can't do nothing because he's part of the plantation of the Democrats. So when he get in office, they hit him with the migrants. He talking about we got to take care of visitors in our city. How about the people who are already in your damn city? What about them, Mayor Johnson? Brothers and sisters, I read that from 2010 to 2020, Armour Square, which includes Chinatown, grew from 13,400 Chinese to 13,900 Chinese. Not only that, the Asian population in Bridgeport, McKinley Park, Douglas, and the lower 